Hey all, welcome to Shattrick. This is Raj here. Friends, I'm going to give you an update on a, a therapy called VIR1388. I had made a video about this somewhere on March 2023. And uh, we have an update as of September. So I'm going to give you whatever information I have. I'll also be showing you a press release uh, so that you can get the information. I'll put the link in the description so that you can read it for yourself. With that said, let's get started. Welcome back friends, uh, that is a, a, a therapy which is being um, promoted by donations from uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation uh, as well as the HTV and HVTN that is uh, HIV Vaccine Trial Network uh, and it's called VIR1388 and it is designed to instruct the human immune system to produce T cells that can recognize HIV and signal an immune response to prevent the virus from establishing chronic uh, infection. VIR1388 uses a, a cytomegalovirus or CMV virus vector. CMV virus has been in human population for a very long time and it's generally harmless but it can persist in the body uh, for a very very long period of time and they are using a, a weakened version of CMV that delivers HIV vaccine material to the immune system without causing HIV uh, in the participants. And it's hoping that because of that, the CD4 T cells will get uh, sensitized uh, to HIV viral proteins and therefore they will be more effective in attacking HIV before it can establish itself. Uh, and um, CMV is, uh, as I said, been, uh, has been uh, present in much of the global population for centuries, so it's not supposed to be a uh, something new that is being introduced into human bodies and at the same time CMV's ability to persist for longer means that the treatment will be durable. Men, most people living with CMV experience no symptoms and are unaware that they are living with the virus and CMV remains detectable in the body for life which suggests it has the potential to deliver and then safely help the body retain the HIV vaccine material for a very long period of time, potentially overcoming the waning immunity observed when uh, more short-lived vaccine vectors are used. And this trial is called HIV Vaccine Trial Network uh, 142 or HVTN142 in short. HVTN142 is taking place at six sites in the United States and four in, the, uh, in uh, South Africa and it will enroll 95 HIV negative participants. Now, let me take you to the press release. Uh, and I'll put a link to that press release for you to read. Well, friends, here is the press release. The heading is Clinical Trials of HIV Vaccine Begins in the United States and South Africa. Uh, and it's dated 20th of September 2023. So it's uh, way after the first time I made a video on this topic. Uh, and it says a trial of uh, preventative HIV vaccine candidate has begun enrollment in the United States and South Africa. So one of the common questions I get asked after the video is released is whether it is preventative or uh, it is um, uh, curative and whether it is functional or it is uh, sterilizing. So I would say that this is a preventative uh, HIV vaccine. Uh, the aim of this vaccine is to give long-term memory to CD4 plus T cells so that they can immediately recognize HIV virus as soon as it enters the body and decimate it. That's the strategy out here. The phase one trial will evaluate a novel vaccine known as VAR1388 for its safety and ability to induce a HIV specific immune response in people. And the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases is part of the NIH, has provided scientific and financial support throughout the life cycle of this HIV vaccine concept and is contributing funding for the study uh, along with uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. So, uh, VIR-1388 is designed to instruct the immune system to produce T cells that can recognize HIV and signal an immune response to prevent the virus from establishing chronic infection. And VIR-1388 uses cytomegalovirus, uh, meaning a weakened version of CMV which delivers HIV vaccine material. So basically they are taking proteins from uh, HIV uh, virus, uh, probably from its uh, shell uh, and maybe from uh, the GP120 
uh, I don't know because they have not given much detail. But that HIV vaccine material goes to the immune system without causing disease in the study, study participants. And because CMV remains uh, for a long period of time in the body, it's expected that the stimulus to the CD4 T cell will remain permanent and the CD4 T cell will be constantly primed for HIV and will uh, neutralize HIV, so it's more prophylactic. And uh, N NIAID has, found, uh, has funded the discovery and development of this, along with Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and Veer Biotechnology, which is based in San Francisco. And uh, it's taking place at six sites in United States and four in South Africa and will enroll 95 HIV negative patients. Participants will be randomly assigned to one of four study arms. Three arms will each receive a different dose of the vaccine, which means they are actually getting the vaccine material. And one of those arms will receive a placebo. To optimize participant safety, the study will only enroll people already living with asymptomatic CMV. In other words, they are going to make sure that the patient already has asymptomatic CMV so that they are not introducing CMV into their body for the first time. And the chances of finding people with CMV is very high. So they may uh, easily get all those participants. Initial results are expected in late 2024. So they are given a timeline when you can expect the results and an ongoing uh, and an optional long-term study will continue to follow the volunteers for up to three years after their first vaccine. And because they have taken 95 participants, I think they'll have substantial number of participants who will volunteer for three years, even if many drop off. So that's what we have here. And uh, we also have the uh, study uh, record out here. Uh, there's a link in the article that sends us to a study record. Nothing new is to be found out here. Uh, except that uh, study completion is estimated to be 20, uh, November 2027 and preliminary complica completion date is uh, November 2025. And um, what else do we have here? So that's about it. Uh, I think yeah, that's all the usual, useful information uh, that we have uh, in this uh, record. And uh, friends, uh, the objective of bringing all these to you is just to make sure that you understand that there is progress still happening in some therapy or the other uh, for curing HIV and that there is hope. Uh, I am not able to give you any videos that says, okay, this is the cure. Uh, but uh, I'm hopeful that uh, looking at all this information that I bring to you, you can understand that scientists are working around the clock to uh, defeat this disease sooner rather than later we'll have some solutions. And uh, I'm still thinking that 2027 is the time frame by which we'll have one or more uh, functional cures in place uh, so that you can have it once and you're safe for the rest of your life. So that's my hope uh, based on whatever I have seen so far. And that hope is coming from EBT 101 and AGT 103-T. Uh, and uh, I, I hope that uh, either of them uh, is able to deliver. And of course, now we have this uh, VIR uh, candidate uh, which is also going to test but I don't think this is coming in the 2027 time frame we'll have to see uh, we'll have to see a few more reports we have to see that they are able to recruit all the 95 uh, participants that they wanted to do uh, so some press release will come from them we'll keep on watching and that will give us more certainty of uh, their timeline we know their aspirations and uh, we'll validate that when they start giving us their uh, therapy uh, uh, outcomes and uh, data releases and so on. So friends, that's all for now. And I'd like to thank the Patreons and the members for supporting the HIV content. Mm -hmm. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.